let's look at the sub circuit to create a sub circuit what we have to do is we we have to go to this project and then add circuit or you can plus click this uh, plus sign plus green sign right here it will give you a sub circuit and here you can name anything you want i'm going to put and because i'm going to create an and gate you can name anything you want and here i'm putting an and gate i'm going to make it a two input and gate and here i put the input input and an output okay now i created my and gate and let's go to the main to go to the main you you see the magnifying glass wherever the magnifying glass is that's the page we are in so if you want to go to main double click this and you go to the main right now so the magnifying glass is at the main right now we are in the main and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click this sub circuit once and you see i'm getting this this is actually the representation of and gate you know so you can create any circuit as a sub circuit and bring it in the main like this, just by clicking like this so here if you want to if i want to test it out whether it acts like an and gate i can put two inputs right here and then uh, i put a led light as an output to test it out whether this one behaves like an AND gate. Now we know that in AND gate, in order for the AND gate to be on, all of them has to be on. Even if one of them is zero, it's going to turn turn it off. So here, if I turn this one on and this one on, then only it turns on. If I turn this one off, one of them off, it's going to turn off. So if we turn off, this is going to turn off. So this is acting like AND gate. And actually you can change how it looks like by going to the sub circuit again if you double click this the magnifying glass move to that page so here now we are in sub circuit and get page and if you want to change the way it looks when i go to the other page what i can do is click this one and i can make this box bigger wider or longer any 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 way you want and then these are the inputs right here inputs are square shape outputs are round shape so i put the inputs right here and then output right here and these are this one doesn't do anything like you don't have to worry where it's this one is how does this look you can just put it inside okay and uh, if you want to type something in you can click this text button and name this one like and gate or something you want and then you can move this around like if you click and you can move this around like this and you also you can change the font and how does it look by going here you can set set the size bold detailing anything you want you can change that one so now i change this one and uh, if i go to the main page now you can see the and gate is changed this is how the and gate looks like now so now you have to connect the input to here and uh, here and then output should be connected to this and now it one this one will be behave like an and gate okay and that's basically it for the sub circuit now let's look at the tty <coughs> So I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go ahead and erase these things. Now let's look at the TTY. TTY, TTY is actually an ASCII code reader. So if I want to make it function, I can uh, I can connect a random number generator generator. Random number generator, I think it's in it's in memory. So I put the random number generator right here and connect it with the input and ASCII codes are 7 bits so you have to change the random number generator to be 7 bits and then uh, we are going to connect to clock this clock to generate random numbers so I connect the clock right here and then uh, I connect this one right here as well
okay so to turn on the clock you can put control control and k uh, you can also set the frequency of the clock by going here tick frequency simulate tick frequency and you can change the frequency of the clock currently my one is at uh, 4 hertz and you can see it's just generating random numbers and these are the like for the random numbers each number has an ASCII code it, it's gonna print it, out, print it out on TTY like this okay and that's it for this video guys I hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching and see you guys on my next video